It's really an honor for me to be here this evening to share my perspective on diversity and inclusion. And I'd really like to start by thanking Nesby for being such an important partner to Carrier. Our two organizations have worked side by side for a number of years to take engineering and engineers to the next level, to take people to the next level in their personal and their professional journeys. You know, when we were having this conference in person, and Dr. Reed just mentioned, yes, I was in Indy in uh, 2013, we sent people to the conference and we would send very large groups to recruit, and we had a rule. We would make offers on the spot and success looks like offers made, offers accepted. Now it's a bit trickier with everything virtual nowadays, but please know that our desire, our mandate for success is the same. We believe in Nesby and we have the same core values, excellence, empathy and respect, exposure, community and inclusion, leadership and innovation and integrity. At Carrier, taking action on our core values has never been more important. And we want Nesby to be a part of this with us. In today's environment, it's not enough to talk about your vision. You have to make it real. You have to build, you have to create, you have to change, you have to act. And for me personally and professionally, the importance of turning those values into actions became even more acutely real after the killing of George Floyd. As tragic as that was, of course, it has shined a light on the urgent need for real action. And it all comes back to that core value of respect and empathy. And for me, it means constantly reminding myself that I, Dave Gitlin, as a white male, I do not experience situations and environments the same way that my black colleagues experience them. You know, I'm lucky to have Mike Todman on our board of directors as a great mentor and advisor. And as he worked his way through corporate America as a black leader, he knows the challenges. And he called me after the George Floyd murder, and he encouraged me to listen, to really listen. And he said that I'd be surprised that so many black employees across this country put on a figurative mask when they come to work because they often feel the need to be someone other than themselves when they step into the workplace. So I started listening sessions with our black executives and for me, these sessions have been so powerful. Quite honestly, they've been emotional. Hearing that my colleagues fear for their kids going off to college or getting behind the wheel of a car or just going out for jogs. And I knew that we needed to make progress on inclusion at work and across society. But these listening sessions, they opened my eyes to just how significant the challenge is for my diverse colleagues and friends. And I am so proud that we are now and we are dealing with reality. We're hearing firsthand how people feel and that's really enabling us to make a real difference. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to lean into the moment and to make change for good. So we develop a clear vision of how we want our employees to feel when they come to work every day. We develop four tenants surrounding DNI that now guide us globally. Each one of these has specific actions behind them. We will reduce the gap by recruiting more diverse talent. We're launching strategic partnerships with two key HBCUs that we'll be announcing shortly and with professional groups, Nesby of course being at the top of that list, to ensure a strong pipeline of talent, including more black candidates. We will develop and sponsor this relates to ensuring the success of black and diverse talent that we have. And this includes executive level sponsorship and mentorship, targeted talent reviews and development programs for diverse talent, and a reinvigoration and a renaming of our black employee resource group, which we now call the Carrier Black Alliance. It's led by someone many of you may know, Christian Sanu, who's doing a superb job at Carrier and had been president of Nesby's Columbia University chapter. We will drive inclusion through executive level fireside chats and listening sessions with the Carrier Black Alliance, ongoing education and training, clear and anonymous reporting channels, and our signing of the CEO Action and Diversity Inclusion Pledge. And finally, we will lean forward. That means celebrating our differences and honoring our communities, recognizing days of historical significance such as Juneteenth and MLK Day. 
We will also partner with the Carrier Black Alliance to conduct leadership-sponsored activities during Black History Month. Four tenants to support real action, real opportunities that allow us to truly listen to one another, real reporting mechanisms, real leadership programs, real carrier communications focused on DNI issues, and real engagement from me and our other executive leaders. Our ultimate goal is simple. We want each and every carrier employee to feel like they belong. Carriers belong emphasizes the importance of diversity and inclusion for our company with an underscore to symbolize space for everybody. Black engineers belong, women engineers belong, Asian, Hispanic, Latino, LGBTQIA engineers, they all belong at Carrier and we will not be successful as a company until everyone who walks through the hallways of Carrier feel like they belong, regardless of their race, their gender, their religion, their sexual orientation, you name it. And that's why you see inclusion reflected so prominently in our core values that we've called the Carrier Way. It's about building and maintaining trust. It's also about confronting reality head on. It's about a company that will do great things for our customers, our employees, and our shareholders by being innovative, agile, respectful, and inclusive. We play to win. And by winning the right way, we will attract and retain the best talent and that will help us win for years to come. So before I close, I must give you just a minute on Carrier. I will tell you that it is an exciting time for engineering at Carrier. We're operating at the center of several megatrends unfolding across the global economy. All eyes are on us. Leaders across industries are looking towards Carrier to create new tools and technologies that support healthy people and a healthy environment. The COVID-19 crisis has accelerated interest in healthy buildings and cleaner indoor air environments. At Carrier, we're leaders in being part of the solution for offices and buildings and hospitals and schools and hotels and retail stores and homes and so much more. And it's not only healthy buildings, it's also ensuring cold chain solutions to get food safely from farms to tables and to get pharmaceuticals that need to be refrigerated safely distributed around the world. The stakes are high. Today, one third, one third of all food goes to waste. Much of that due to a lack of refrigeration and one in nine people around the world go to sleep hungry each night. So just think about that about 11% of the world's population going to sleep hungry and we throw out a, world, a third of the world's food that's produced each day. Our cold chain solutions, they can and they will make a difference. And pharmaceuticals save lives and of course, that's incredibly relevant today. We continue to innovate in these areas on a daily basis. Innovation, it's in our DNA. As Dr. Reed just mentioned, Carrier was founded more than 100 years ago by Willis Carrier, an engineer, and the inventor of modern air conditioning. Today, we operate in 51 factories, 37 research and design centers worldwide with more than 53,000 employees that serve customers in more than 180 countries. I couldn't even begin to count the number of inventions and patents and proprietary methods and breakthrough ideas that have emerged at Carrier since our beginning. It's an incredible history and there are even more exciting days ahead. So look, a really exciting time for Carrier, and we want you, our Nesby friends, to be on this journey with us. And one more thing to think about is that when we say we're gonna do something, we do it. We are all in. When we wanna win in the marketplace, we win. We wanna make a difference for people and our planet. And we will lean into this moment in diversity and inclusion in a profound way. And with your help, I know we will. So I thank you this evening for your time and interest. Thank you very much.